So I just got back from my, what I hope is my last milkweed run of this season. With that being said, it is time to teach you guys how to bleach your milkweed. You heard me right, bleach your milkweed. And what this basically is, is when you're rearing in a close proximity with many monarchs, you might want to consider doing this. It's used in labs and on some commercial butterfly farms. Um, but basically you're going to be mixing a solution of very low percentage bleach and water. And the reason we do this as razors is because caterpillars and butterflies are more at risk of getting OE and other bacterial infections when they are reared in a closed environment. If you're raising just like one to three, depending where you are, you might not want to bother with this. But since I raise over 10, usually around 20 to 40 to 50 of them at a time, I make sure my sanitation is absolutely pristine because I'm taking them out of nature into a controlled environment. It needs to be clean to prevent the spread of disease and bacteria. So you're gonna want some basic concentrated or unconcentrated bleach, no additives or scents, no splash free, that'll hurt the caterpillars. Yep. I have unconcentrated bleach, so that's what I'll be using in this yep. particular video. So here is your recipe. You want to, for unconcentrated, you want to use 19 to 1 ratio water to bleach. That's approximately 95% water, 5% bleach. Concentrated, you're doing 32 to 1. Go back, rewind, pause, screenshot as needed. But as you can see here, I am adding the 19 scoops of water to the one scoop of bleach in that I put in the beginning. Obviously, you're not going to see all 19 put in just because that would get very boring. Usually, I do this outside in a large bucket. But because we only have six caterpillars left still eating, I'm doing it in this mixing bowl. So here I am adding the milkweed. You might want to use gloves and take your jewelry off for this. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm being careful not to get that on my fingertips. But you're basically going to agitate the milkweed in this solution for about five minutes. Get it really nice, good, soaked. If you have a salad spinner, that would probably be a great thing to do for this. Yeah, there I am agitating, 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 agitating. Didn't realize this was going to take so long. But yeah, once your five minutes are up, you're going to rinse. You're going to drain the bleach from the solution out first and then rinse really well. I like to run fresh water over it as I rinse to just make sure I get all the solution off. And then obviously I will be taking it outside. To feed to my caterpillars and as you can see there's the old stuff they're eating and when they're ready they'll crawl on to the new stuff just like so now you can always bleach eggs I do sometimes um, I have in the past especially if I've had a difficult year it's just an extra measure I take I use the same ratio for the bleach but I only do it for a minute and I obviously agitate very gently um, because I don't want them to fall off the leaf. But if a mom butterfly lays an egg and she has OE, there's going to be spores on the eggs. So that's why we do it. I don't know what that is. But yeah, definitely watch Pins and Beetles video on this. Um, Mr. Lund Science on YouTube also has a really good video on this. Um, that's where I got my information when I started bleaching. He has videos on this and so many other things. If you need a good resource, definitely check him out. Now bleaching is not foolproof. It will help, but it you there's still a chance you will see OE. It it's just what happens. It's like with hand sanitizer, you know, you might get some of the germs, but not all. So don't think about it as a be all end all. It is a preventative measure that helps quite a lot, but it is not foolproof. So if you already raise in mass quantities, definitely consider bleaching if you don't already. And if you are planning on raising in the future and you eventually take on more than just a couple of them, 
I would definitely recommend bleaching. I strongly recommend it. So with that being said, that is where I will leave off at OE Prevention and keep following for more.